for most of us, but it's going to be quite warm, quite dry for some of us. You can see out there right now, Clark Group at Cam McLean that things are pretty quiet this morning. No issues for that morning commute. It's a little warmer too, 55 degrees now since the dew point has come up thanks to south and southeasterly winds around 10 miles per hour at this time. Radar is quiet. That's the good news. There is a wind advisory in today. Already those winds close to 10 miles per hour by afternoon, though. We're going to see gusts getting up towards 30 to 35 miles per hour with those southerly winds. And even out to the west, those winds are going to be stronger and out of the southwest. That's where a red flag warning is in effect. And those are issued when the conditions are ripe for fires to quickly spread. You haven't had a lot of rain out to the west over towards Goldthwaite, Hamilton, San Saba, Land Passage. You're in an extreme drought at this time, and we're going to have a dry line set up. When that happens, that brings in very, very dry desert southwest air in, pushing temperatures up to the 80s, and it's going to lead to a fi high fire danger. Off to the east, though, temperatures are going to be in the 70s with south winds and a little bit of moisture, so there will be an isolated storm chance. A lot going on here as we go through the day today. 50s out there right now, though, 56 in Waco, 53 in Temple and in Killeen. Watch what happens as we continue through the day. We'll start with these clouds that will be around here early this morning. That moisture pivots off to the east of I-35. That's where you'll have the chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm later on this afternoon. West of that dry line, again, temperatures get up into the upper 80s. It's going to be quite warm. It's going to feel like a hairdryer turned on, and you're going to have to watch for that high fire danger. Now, overnight, we'll get a cold front to come in. As that cold front comes through east of I-35, again, could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Behind that, though, things dry out. Look at the beautiful day on the way for Friday. Highs in the 60s, and we'll continue the nice weather on into the weekend as well, with warmer temperatures Saturday in the 70s as south winds start to kick back in. That's in advance of our next storm system, and this one's going to arrive Monday on into Tuesday. This one brings with it the potential for more widespread showers and thunderstorms and the potential for severe weather as we head into your Monday. So that's something we're going to be monitoring very, very closely. Again, today, higher fire danger out west. Most of us close to 80, if not the mid to upper 70s, 20% chance of rain. Temperatures continue to stay on the nice side heading through the weekend. There's that storm chance Monday and Tuesday. All right, Josh, thank you.